Yo guys, what's up? Whoops. Not in order, lol. Boom, Necroz. Fun ass deck, really like it. Duelist Alliance decks, those are by far my favorite variants. Got the playmat right here. Very fucking nice. Let's do this. So, you got right here, three Brios, main searcher. He could bounce two extra deck monsters from your opponent's side of the field. That's so good. His second effect, people don't really listen to because his first effect's fucking nutty. We got right here, three uh, Valks. Negates, negates an attack and ends the battle phase. Um, uh, you tribute it, I mean you summon it, you tribute two cards from your hand or field, and you draw two. You know? <clears throat> I didn't think about this, but you could probably have an interesting interaction with this with Lair of Darkness, where you could tribute their monsters to draw two. Uh, I don't know, I need to fucking find out about that, but alright. Then we got right here, uh, two Trishes. That's your blog card, it's fucking Trishula. Fucking banish it and you fucking win. Good ass card. Love it. We have right here two Klauses. You only need to because you run the incantations and you search out your spells and traps. There isn't any though. There should be. So those are the three and two ofs. Fucking one gun gear. One, uh, not gun gear, sorry. Decisive armor. One gun gear, unicorn, and the two release new two shrits. It's nice to have this. I personally will wanted this at two or three. This card's very good. Um, this card is underrated. You could sit on it and pop a card. This guy is kind of like your mini honest, gains a thousand attack. Uh, Shrit, very good card. You could use it as a. Um, uh, you could use it to tribute to um, uh, and it'll be considered the cost instead of whatever you're tributing. Very, very good. And you search for a warrior, so you could get out your uh, Brio, you could get out your Trish. Solid ass option. So for the others, we got this. We got shit to People are gonna try to negate it. Uh, your uh, ritual spells, you got this. You could tribute this and one banished card, which they will be banished with Valk's effect. Um, uh, you would get it back to your hand. Really good. They find a way to banish your Bree, um, uh, your unicorn. You could get this back with this. Uh, but yeah, it's just about it. So for our normal summons right here, we got three Manjus of the 10,000 hands. Searcher, very good card. Would we'll recommend it. Really good card. So the incantation stuff, I find it for me, the best variants are two each. They search out your spells, they search out your traps, and they s recycle your um, my shit. Well, besides this guy, he's at one. So yeah, they recycle all your shit, they search all your shit. Very good. Honestly, if, you're, if they find a way to get rid of your unicorn, you'll have your incantations to bring it back. But generally, you want to use it to search shit. So, and then for the final piece of the monster lineup, I do run this. The Vanity Ruler and the Benten. I don't like the Saborg engine that much. I feel like it bricks pretty hard for, um, uh, for going off. And uh, in some cases, I do not want that to happen. Uh, but this right here fucks up so many decks, and if they don't have it in permanence, they practically lose, right? some way to negate it. So right here we got, <clears throat> for the spells, we got Kaleidoscope, Mirror, and Cycle. This one is from the deck, you tribute, you special, and then they do their shit. This you could banish from the deck. To the banish zone and get out your monster this uses the extra deck oh and it's up to also so like if you're sending like blue eyes ultimate dragon you could send a four and an eight or a five and a seven you know stuff like that 
So for the searchers right here, we got three preparation of rights. This is self-explanatory. You get a level seven or lower um, uh, <clears throat> ritual monster and Brio searches everything for you. So solid, solid. We got right here, three, count them, three pot of extravagance. I don't know what else to say about this. Is it plus one? We, us Yu-Gi-Oh players would do anything for a plus one. Uh, and yeah, it's fucking, you banish your extra deck, but who cares? You don't use that shit. Three call buys, banish anything to disrupt you, you get rid of it. This is right here, by the way, a 51 card deck, because I do not know what to fucking pick out. <laughs> like, is this, all of it's like too good. You have all these searches anyways, so 50 cards will, would be fine. You got these two. Incantation, Rhoda. This card's OP as fuck. You could use it like more, all the cross on my rituals required a, an exact number. The incantation does not. So, yeah. And then last but certainly not least, we got impermanence. You will come across shit where they make a pretty funky board and you're gonna have to get rid of it. This is your out. I know it's not much, but this deck's pretty um uh, pretty tight, so there's not really much options to go about it. So this right here is a 51 card deck. All 51 cards. Uh you I need to find some ways to cut it, but I think right now where it's at, it's pretty good. Yeah. All right, so now up to the extra deck. There's no side, I mean, you could make a side deck for this, but for me, like I said before, it's so tight, this deck, like, you're gonna have to find, like, a little bit more optimal stuff, like, maybe, like, Valk, like, to cut off Valk if they attack a lot, like, or if they don't target, you know, maybe a Trish, but you, you kind of want to Trish their guys. If they don't want any back row, you could take out Decisive Armor, like, stuff like that. So right here, we got three Heralds. I run three, it's probably a little bit too much, but you know, fuck it. You don't wanna get, you don't want to banish your shit with extravagance, so three. We got Star Eater, Shooting Quasar, Brio for your Brionac, Trish Brionac, and then Tatsunoko for your uh, uh, Klaus. So for the fusions, which you don't really fuse, but still, you got right here, fucking eternity, fucking shit. Sensitive deck to the graveyard to pop a card. Very good. So for the rank fours, because you do have a rank four. It's easy to get your rank fours out of the way. But let's be honest here. Oh, wrong one. Let's be honest here, fucking... You're not gonna go to any of these, maybe outside of Abyss Dweller. There are most of these shits are gonna get banished. So yeah, that's pretty much my deck profile. What I think about the deck is really fun. Uh, it could be competitive, but the problem is that Call by the Grave's a card, and you Call by the Grave their Brio, and it's kind of over. Like, it really is. Uh, but other than that, like, yeah, like, it's... I feel like it needs more support, personally. Like, it needs something. Like, I don't even think... Like, maybe Unicorn at 3 will help the deck a lot, but... It's missing something. It needs, like, a... Like, a... Like, another card that says, fuck you. You're not allowed to play this game. Besides Unicorn. And maybe Vanity's Ruler. Uh, but overall, I really like it. <clears throat> it's really fun. Like, I like Duelist Alliance decks a lot. And this, well, not du this is not really a Duelist Alliance deck, but it was there in the, in the format. But it's really enjoyable, and yeah, that's really all I got to say. Uh, take care, guys. Have a nice day.